Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Hyperdrive Inn. Now this is one of the most unique adventure games that I have ever come across because it's all made from fabric cuttings. So basically the dev of the game cut out lots of shapes and fabric, scanned them on to turn them into images, and then created a game from all of those images. And it, it looks really, really interesting. So we're gonna play a bit of the demo, see what we think, and um, jump in for a new game. I've never seen anything like this though, so I'm very excited to see how it turns out. Okay, so we're on a motorbike here. You ever get that feeling like the road ahead is a maze and you're just trying to find your way through it, even if it seems straight as an arrow? That's my life right now, cruising down this highway on two wheels heading straight into the heart of the unknown. I'd rather be anywhere else than here. Ah, okay, so we can choose the dialogue option. How did this happen? Why do I agree to this? What the hell am I doing? What the hell am I doing? This is a bad idea. I could just turn back. Nothing's stopping me. When will I learn? Nothing good will become of this. Everything, of course, depends on the hotel. The true child of his. The one he gave birth. A monument to his success, he calls it. And now he wants me there as if an invitation could erase the years of silence. We never did see eye to eye, me and him. I was always the rebel. The one who refused to fit into his perfect plans. But a father's call, even one as distant and reluctant as his, is hard to ignore. Should have said no, or is it? Am I playing one of his games again? But maybe a small part of me hopes this is a piece of it, something different. Who am I kidding? I know exactly how this is going to turn out. He can't change, he's way too old and stubborn for that. Is it up to me then? Can I change? The visuals are great. Do I even want to? Um, maybe. I could meet him halfway. If this was real, I could. Who am I kidding? This is just a feeble effort towards redemption. Maybe he's dying. Or better yet, he hopes I'll continue his work. I'll burn the place down if that's the case. That place, this towering testament to his ambition, is like a fortress, they say. And I'm about to step right into the cesspool he calls a hotel. There's like something up his sleeve, I can feel it in my bones. You don't build an empire without hiding a few skeletons in the closet. Maybe it's the rain, maybe it's the complete darkness of the wet surroundings, but something in the air tells me this isn't just a family reunion. There's a storm brewing, and it's not just in the clouds. So here I am, against my better judgement, answering the call of the past. Hyperdrive in awaits, a looming behemoth that holds secrets, and I'm about to uncover them, whether I like it or not. Let the games begin. Wow, very, very in-depth introduction there. Set the scene very nicely, though. There's obviously some sort of, like, issue between the dad and the daughter. Okay, let's go find dad. I want to get out of here as soon as possible. This place creeps me out. Help is on the way. Tutorial bot, eh? Greetings! Who the heck are you? Just a humble assistant for newcomers. Newcomers? Yes. For those unfamiliar with adventures like this. I don't follow. Not to worry. I'm here to help. So, have you played adventure games before? Yes, we have. Um, why can I not? Well, I've got to click no, basically. Then you should be also. Oh no, it's on yes, okay, that's why. Do you want me to go through the controls? Um, yes or no? Yeah, go on then. There's not that much to it. You interact with keyboard E or gamepad A. Access inventory with keyboard Q or gamepad Y. Move around with the WASD or left analog stick. Open the menu with escape or start, and you're all set. Enjoy the feelings of discovery. You'll have a lot of fun. That was odd. <laughs> it was quite odd, wasn't it? <laughs> so here we go, we're off. And look at look at how cool this looks. It's, like I said, I've not played anything like this before. Um, so I'm really excited to see what this is about. So E to interact, right? So if, you, if you're playing with a gamepad, it's probably a little bit easier, to be honest. It does recommend a gamepad when you first boot up the game. Um, I haven't got a gamepad handy right now as I'm recording, so I'm using a keyboard. Um, hello? Now what do you want? Can't you see I'm miserable? Ooh, check out this, Matriarch. I have never been this angry in my entire life, and I have personally witnessed the plague, several wars, and famine. I just want to scream. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> What's wrong? I kind of noticed that you're having a bad day. Something wrong in particular, or are you just generally angry at everything? My vacation is ruined. I've waited. I've wanted to visit this place for decades, and when I'm finally here, the whole place is in some kind of a lockdown. They told us to go home. 
She seems to be in a bit of a mood. Better let her be before she grabs something heavy and decides to throw it at someone. <laughs> I'm so full of this, I will sue everyone and their relatives. They shall face the full wrath of my being. This will not go unpunished. I want heads to roll. Uh, heads to roll. Have you decided who you're going to kill? Should I start running? <laughs> well, the hotel manager is on the top of my list. As soon as I find the little weasel, he'll be running for his dear life. I'm looking for the same person. Any idea where he might be? Would I be talking to you or screaming my lungs out here if I knew where the manager is? I'm going to let you vent out that steam of yours. Take care. If you happen to see the manager, do let him know that I want to talk to him. I want to complain officially. Sure thing. And see if you could find some complaint forms. Wow. <laughs> She's uh, not very impressed, is she? Let's head on. These little cog things are cool. Witness the awe of hyperdrive. Okay, what does this do? Ooh. A massive hologram materialises in front of you. Mr. Hilbert. This is the Hyperdrive Inn, the world's most advanced hotel capable of accommodating an infinite number of guests. You heard it right, an infinite number. Thanks for our patented technology, we will never run out of rooms. Everybody is welcome. How the hell does that work? There is a clear pride in the hologram's voice. Dad? Please state your inquiry. Uh, where are you? Could you tell me where you are? That would save us all a lot of trouble, it would. Invalid inquiry. Please reiterate. Yep, still evading the difficult questions. Nothing new here. <laughs> Please state your inquiry. Um, owners? Who owns this place? Hyperdrive Inn is owned by a co-op consisting of Mr. Dalton, Mr. Burton and Mr. Fenton. Uh, these philanthropists have only one goal in life, to provide affordable hotel accommodation for each and every one. They are the heart and soul of Hyperdrive Inn, Renaissance men in the most literal form. Wait, you don't own the hotel anymore? Invalid inquiry, please reiterate. <laughs> this actually explains a thing or two. I wonder what Dad has gotten himself into. I'm willing to bet Burton, Fenton and Dalton are anything but philanthropists. Okay, um, what is this place? Can you tell me more about this place? It seems the old motel has somewhat changed in the past years. Certainly. By utilising the most recent advances in the fields of quantum physics and cost-efficient building methods, we have created an affordable solution to meet all needs of our customers. Whether you want to indulge yourself in lavish luxury or just want to spend the night, we can suit all your needs. Please state your inquiry. Um, guess. The, um, the writing is, like, the narration is very in-depth and detailed. I like it. It's, it's really helping with the immersion guests. Looks to me that this infinite hotel of yours isn't accommodating anyone at the moment. What's wrong? Invalid inquiry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, never mind. So we spoke to him. Let's head on. Oh my god, that is quite the hat. Check out that hat. <laughs> That's crazy. Are these the um, three owners? Yeah. This is costing us an arm and a leg. Several, actually. Come on, mates. I'm sure we'll get everything sorted. It's only money. Easy for you to say. You haven't invested nearly as much as we have. I've spent more than enough on this little endeavour. So don't lecture me about not spending enough. I'm just as worried as you are. But I'm sure everything will be sorted. We are screwed. We are suffering infinite losses. I don't know how long we can stay above water. Burton's right. We need to get this sorted out as soon as possible. Uh, am I interrupting something? Ah, Miss Hilbert, so they know who we are. Penrose, if you please. Yes, yes. Glad to see you made it such short notice. As you see, you were in a bit of a pickle here. We still haven't been able to locate your father, and we'd really appreciate your help finding him. This guy looks a bit like Kingpin. <laughs> um, any leads? So he decided to go rogue then. Any idea where he might have gone? As far as we know, he's somewhere in the hotel. But given the peculiar nature of this fine establishment, he could literally be anywhere. Yeah, I guess if we've got like infinite rooms, then it'd be pretty much impossible to find him. We've exhausted all our means in finding him. To be frank, we are in desperate need of assistance. You'll be well compensated if you manage to locate your father. Yes, we will make sure this will be worth your time. Look, I don't know the first thing about this place. All we ask of you is to try. So, what do you say? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I mean, we came here to find him anyway. Fine, I'll do it. I certainly could use the cash. Splendid. We have our utmost trust in you. Now, if you'll excuse us, we need to continue with the damage control. Best of luck on your quest. We are all rooting for you. All right, you guys, you, you stay there and we'll just do your job for you, shall we? What's this? Rooms one, two... I can't actually make out what that says. Hmm. Nobody's right. Uh, nobody's riding these elevators anytime soon. It looks like they're all switched off. Okay, so we've got like a reception here. Looks like we can possibly ring a bell. It's a bell. Can we ring it? I wonder if anyone's here. Makes a funny sound. Okay, so we've got nothing in our inventory. Okay, so it looks like ringing this doesn't get anyone's attention. Oh, hang on. I'm coming, Jesus Christ. A large mechanical entity is staring right at you. The robot has a name tag which reads Chad. Do you have any idea what I must deal with? No, not really. <laughs> Suppose I don't, but how hard is it to maintain an empty hotel? Ha, we're never empty. Even as we speak, all our rooms are booked. It's just that we can't accommodate more guests at the moment thanks to uh, technical difficulties. I've never seen a fully booked hotel this empty. We have some minor hiccups at the moment, but rest assured we'll get them sorted soon enough. So what can I do for you? Uh, let's ask about the place first. Tell me about this place, it seems fascinating. This right here, Hyperdrive Inn, is the eighth wonder of the world. An infinite hotel capable of accommodating each and every one. For a reasonable price, I might add. I know this place is big, but you're saying that it is infinite? You're pulling my leg. I'm most certainly not. This is the crowning achievement of Mr. Hilbert, the greatest genius of our time. His work is not to be undermined. Speaking of Mr. Hilbert, any idea where I could find him? The manager is not available at this time. That's a bit suspicious, isn't it? No need to worry, I'm sure he'll be back soon enough. Then everything will be alright. Just stop asking questions, go back to your home and come again later. If you don't have any hotel related issues, I must get back to work. Uh, do we have a reservation? Ma'am, like I said, we're having technical difficulties. Could you just check if you can do something? Fine! Although I already know where this is going, I need your last name, ma'am. Uh, it's Hilbert, right? Or is it Penrose? Penrose. Accessing? Hmm, just as I expected. No reservations for the name Penrose. Try Hilbert then. As you wish. Quite unusual, there is a reservation for Aino Hilbert in the system. This is very unusual. The reservation is for the manager's office. There must be a mistake. Give me the key. If there's a reservation under my name, let me have the key. Very well, miss. If you could provide me with a valid ID, we can get you sorted. Uh, I don't need an ID. <clears throat> I don't need no ID, just give me the key. If you want to get that key, provide me with a proper ID. Until then, I can't help you. Enjoy your day, Miss Penrose. Ah, so we're gonna need ID now. I drove here for hours. I'm not going home just to get my driver's license. What we need is a distraction. Clean up complete. Oh, I think that's pretty fast, wasn't it? So what was it? Are these rooms or? The manager's office is that way. Let's see if we can... Oh, it's the toilet, I see. Long ears. That's the last time I'm eating those kibbles. <laughs> Christ, I feel like I'm about to explode. I hope the plumbing is up for the challenge. Thank God I have a plunger. Oh God, that doesn't sound good, does it? Can we, uh... Let's see what's in here. A pen? Better hold on to that. Alright, so maybe we can, like, forge something with that? Doesn't look like there's much else we can do in here. Okay, let's try this one. Ooh. What's going on in here? It's a baby. I thought you locked the door. We can't be this sloppy. They're going to find us and then it's all over. I'm sorry, dear. Nobody's going to find us. We're perfectly safe here. And you're not going to tell anyone, right? <clears throat> uh, don't worry. I'm not going to tell anyone, so don't worry. But I am curious. What are you doing? 
Well, it all started as a holiday. We spent our savings on this trip. We were supposed to spend a week here, but this little trip of ours has taken a lot longer than we first thought. So, how long have you been here? It'll be eight months in a couple of days. What? Eight months? What on earth happened? When we tried to check out, they started to list all kinds of extra costs that had accumulated during our stay. They counted each and every penny. They even kept track on how many times we opened our door and factored in a cost for the wear of the hinges. Oh my god. <laughs> and when stuff like this starts to pile up, it doesn't take long for you to be screwed. Pretty soon, we were in a situation where we had to start selling our possessions. We couldn't leave because we hadn't paid our bill. So the more time we spent here, the more we owed. Eventually, we ran out of money, and we've been on the run ever since. They're hunting people like us. I have no idea what they would do to us if we got caught. Filling these complaint forms in our lifeline at the moment uh, is our lifeline at the moment. We have to find some kind of loophole if we want to break free from this. I'm not going to raise my son in a bathroom of a hotel. I mean, I get that. So, I mean, if we wanted to be really bad, we could use these guys as a distraction. I'm guessing. They don't know we're here. Ugh. I mean, we could grasp them up and then use the distraction to get the key. But that feels bad, like, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure I want to do that. They mentioned complaint forms though, so I wonder if we can perhaps go and talk to the, um, the lady over there who wanted to complain. Because she was looking for complaint forms, right? Yeah, this lady. I've never seen a person this angry. I better not talk to her before I can help her out. Oh, okay. So I don't know if we can help her out or not. Oh, I don't know that I want to grasp them up there. It feels really evil. Especially as they've got like a, a baby and they've been stuck here for eight months. But I'm not sure if there's any other way to do it. Um, excuse me. Yes? I don't want to waste your time since you seem to be busy with your important thingies. But... <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't want to grasp them up. Time is money, and we don't have either. Speak for yourself, I'm filthy rich. Just out of curiosity, have you happened to come across a bunch of freeloaders? We've been receiving quite a lot of complaints which revolve around an unpaid bill. We can't have that here, we need to set an example. No. That's a shame. Do keep your eyes open, okay? We have a reason to believe we might have a bit of a problem brewing. Unpaid bills are the worst thing I know. Yes, you must pay what you owe. Something's not right. You can see the thirst in their eyes. They are out for blood. Hmm, alright, well, I don't know that I want to grasp them up. i tell you what, guys, we're out of time anyway, so I'm going to leave a link to this in the description below so you can go and play more and decide whether you want to be evil and turn the, um, the young family into them for money or not. But yeah, I really like this. The, um, the narration is very, very in-depth and immersive. The world itself is fantastic. Like I said, I've never seen anything like this before, and I think it's a really, really cool idea for an adventure game. And I'm intrigued to see what the full game will be like. I'm, I'm really, really interested. So... As always, a big thank you for watching, and a big thank you to my patrons are Kaylee's Games, Wayne Nate, Temily Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldrich, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadim, Paulie Ohm, Flossie the Sheep, Jonathan Connolly, and Chrissy. And I'll see you next time.